Hey everyone, it's Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's FlexVolt 2.5 gallon air compressor kit, model number DCC2560T1. This includes the air compressor, a 6.0 amp hour FlexVolt battery which operates at 2.0 amp hour at 60 volts, which this air compressor needs, and it also includes a DeWalt fast charger. Now what we're going to do in this video is go over this tool, figure out if it will work for you, kind of test it with different nailers, figure out how many nails it'll put in before it turns on, give you the specs and how fast it pumps up, how fast it recovers, and just generally walk around this unit and go into it. So let's go into some quick specs. This unit does have a brushless motor. It does have a fan-cooled internal system, so it will try to keep itself cool with air moving through it. It runs at approximately 79 decibels. It's not quiet, it's not real loud. It is an oil-free pump, so there is no maintenance inside. The owner's manual does not say anything about the break-in period, but we highly suggest that when you get this unit home, put in a battery, run it for 20 minutes, leaving the air system open so it doesn't build pressure. It will just kind of work its way through. Things will get quite hot, you'll be surprised, but then that kind of sets this unit up to last a long time. It's rated at 1.2 SCFM at 90 pounds and 1.5 SCFM at 40 pounds. So it's not going to run very large tools. This is really going to be meant for pulling in and working with your punch list. Now it does not run off of AC power. That would be something that would be awesome in every FlexVolt tool that we look at since the miter saw we think man incorporate this so this could be our all-in-one air compressor we use an extension cord and plug it in or the battery not the case battery only so after a quick 20 minute break in and a 30 minute battery charge we threw a fully charged battery in this beast and said how long is it going to take to pump up from 0 to 135 psi and that number ended up to be two minutes now it will drain down to 100 psi and then it took approximately 23 seconds to recover to 135 psi without any use using this air compressor is very simple just pop a flex volt battery in the back come around front and turn on the power switch you have a gauge up front that tells you how many psi is in the tank and then you have a single knob pressure regulator that allows you to pick from zero all the way up to maximum for how much pressure you're putting out. Now while this is accurate right now in the future I think it would be neat to put a gauge off of your single outlet quick connect and put another quick connect on the other end to get an accurate reading of exactly what you're putting out to the hose. So this unit weighs in at 24 pounds and has a nice grab handle on the top for carrying it around. This is a nice lightweight unit to walk into smaller jobs or to finish up a punch list. Now with that said, we wanted to check how much this unit was gonna run while it's on the job site. It is 79 decibels and we kind of feel that if it's turning on and off constantly, that could be an annoyance. So we pulled out our 18 gauge brad nailer, hooked it up and decided to see how many nails we could put into a piece of wood before this unit needed to recover. That number ended up being 15. We wanted to take it a step further and say, okay, what would it be if we're shooting 16 gauge nails? That number ended up to be 10. So. 1.2 CFM, everything seems to be in line. It's going to work with those nailers, but we want to take it a step further and say, okay, if you had a framing job, this is really not a framing unit, but worst case scenario, if you needed to just shoot 20, 30 nails, would it work? The answer is yes. We got four to five framing nails per time this unit would recover. That's obviously not going to work for a framing job, but if you did have to go in small area, very quick, it could be used. Secondarily, you could use this to fill up tires if you're on the road and traveling. One of the things that I always find if you're hauling a trailer, this is nice to have. You find that you have a tire that's going flat, you're in the middle of the expressway, you need some air, this unit will provide it. So I think there's a lot of different reasons people will purchase this unit. It might even be just to take it on a trip camping. Blow up some of those inflatables. It's it's priced at $299 with a battery and with the charger. So it's not that far out of reach and it's not that expensive for what it is. If you want to keep it around home, it'd be great for your pumping up bike tires and just generally doing small items that you'd need there without having to have a very large compressor. This is not going to run an impact wrench. It's not going to run a lot of uh, die grinders or a lot of pneumatic tools because they're going to need a little bit more than 1.2 SCFM. 
but overall this is a nice unit that's fairly quiet and has a lot of rubber on the bottom stopping the vibration from going through to whatever it's sitting on. Now internally DeWalt says there's a cooling system inside so we pulled off each of the covers on the side just to see what is in there and we found on one side one of the hoses that feeds the tank from the pump has a factory clamp on it. Over time, sometimes those factory clamps will fail. You can always fix that very easy with a screw-in type hose clamp. On the other side, you can see the fan that blows air across the motor. We remove the fan just to see what's behind it. You can see that the motor is back there along with some other electronics to keep things in check. Overall, using this, you know that it will get hot over some period of time, even the tank. So we highly suggest that you drain the air in the tank after use. You will find that there'll be a small area of condensation after you drain it on whatever table it's on. I would think that over time I would keep a lot more oil in my nailers using this small of a tank. Right now there are very few manufacturers with a battery operated air compressor, but DeWalt is by far leading the pack with this unit. You know, two minutes is a long time to pump up from zero to 135 PSI, but if you think about the time that you'd have to drag a cord in or the time that you're saving using this just with a battery, I think it's gonna be worth it to have. Now, the other thing to be said is how long is the battery gonna last? And what we found here is that you could pretty much run this unit almost all day, if not maybe nine hours. It's all gonna depend on what you're using. So if we were gonna just use this in the shop for brad nails, while it would continually run more than what we would like, you're gonna easily get all day out of it. In our testing, we were able to drain the battery, but we were just pushing this thing constantly and sometimes even just leaving the petcock in the back open to have it run to see how long the battery would last. DeWalt claims up to 1,220 brad nails. That's a lot, but at the same point, it's all gonna depend on what nail gun you're using, in everything how it's going to play out. I think that this is going to work well for most people. It's going to give you an option and I think that's what a lot of people want is the option to go cordless. So if you want to read a little bit more about this stop by workshopaddict.com, follow us on social media, check out a lot of our giveaways, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your time. Have a great day.